Well, after a year of shooting this rifle in competition around the country, I figured I would share with you what I liked about it, uh, what I'm gonna change for next year, and just talk through the configuration of this gun from muzzle to stock. First and foremost, I shoot a JP SCI 20, which is a 223 or a 556 AR-15. Uh, on the front end, I run a muzzle brake, which is the recoil eliminator from JP, adjustable gas, thermal dissipator. And I like that thermal dissipator. It pulls heat off the barrel, cools that barrel down faster. And it adds a little bit of front end weight to this gun. I like having a little bit heavier gun, and so I like running the thermal on the gun. I run the Magpul K2 grip and the old school Gen 2 Magpul PRS stock because it's heavy. And then internals, I'm running the low mass carrier from uh, JP and the SCS. For optics, I run a Vortex 1 to 10 Gen 3 scope and an offset 6 MOA dot with JP mounts. And overall, this configuration is something I've been running for a couple years and super happy with it. I think from an adjustment standpoint, as I walk into next season, I'm going to try a couple different things. So I'm going to shorten up my handguard just a hair because I noticed when I'd go into some VTAC barricades, stuff like that, I didn't have quite enough clearance to really clock that gun or set that gun up. So the handguard actually got in the way just a little bit on some of those three gun stages. So I'm going to shorten that up for next year. And then I'm going to try the new PRS stocks from Magpul and see if the lighter weight stock throws off my balance or not. If it does, I might put a little bit of weight in the back of that buffer tube. We'll see how that all plays out, but I'm going to play with that this off season. And then the ammo choice, I run these 55 grain American Eagles. They work great for everything inside of hundred yards and 73 grain uh, gold medal burgers for all the long distance three gun shots. All of that stuff shoots lights out in this configuration. And then one of the adjustments I made this year that's worked out really good is I run coupled mags with these Taylor Freelance uh, T-Mag couplers on Magpul P-Mags and they work out great. I don't have to come off the belt with my reload. I just come out of the bottom of the gun, move the mag over and load it up. So my reloads have drastically improved from a speed standpoint on the clock since I started running these coupled mags. I use that a lot. So overall, super happy with the configuration. Been shooting this rig just like this for a couple of years, but with a couple slight modifications, I'm excited to uh, get ready to go for next season. <laughs>